Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware, and this year at CES 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada, AMD CEO Dr. Lisa Su introduced the company's first 7 nanometer GPU or graphics processor based on the company's Vega architecture, powering a new graphics card by the name of Radeon 7. Wouldn't you know it, right here is a box with the words AMD Radeon 7 on it. What do you think we should do with a box like this? Yeah, we're going to open it next. All right, so what you're looking at here first is the AMD Radeon 7 press box. This is a specially prepared press kit, not a retail box that you can find online or at a brick and mortar store. You can't purchase it this way, but this is the Radeon 7 press box. And of course, as always, AMD does not disappoint when it comes to presentation. And this box is quite large and uh, quite well made and sort of flat black and kind of ominous looking almost but uh, under the hood is what matters here under the top lid we're gonna pull that up nice and neat and there you go we've got some goodies inside for sure so what are we looking at here first of course you've got the graphics card that's nestled neatly in its anti-static bag we have over here in this tiny little pocket what looks to be yes three AAA batteries ready to go and then down the bottom here is a rather large piece of polycarbonate plastic, I do believe. Whatever. It's dense, and I can barely get it out of the foam, the packing foam, but, but that is a cool looking piece of clear plastic and the GPU inside. This would be the Radeon 7 GPU. Let's take you in for a tighter look at that. So a little bit closer look, you can see we've got AMD Radeon 7 logoing here. We've got some nice bumper feet on the bottom to keep this thing balanced and skid free. We've got what looks like the place where we're going to put those AAA batteries on the bottom and let's take you in for a tighter shot on the GPU itself. On board this AMD GPU you've got 60 Radeon compute units, 3840 stream processors and a peak engine clock of 1.8 gigahertz as well as one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth for that 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. And of course, this is a seven nanometer Vega architecture from AMD, so all of those advanced architecture enhancements are there, including enhanced async compute. All right, let's take you into the back side of the chip here, which you can just see through the acrylic. And it is a massive chip. And as you can see, thousands of solder balls make up the ball grid array on the bottom of this package, connecting it to the graphics card PCB for literally thousands of connections. It is just massive. Almost every square millimeter of this chip is covered with that solder ball, ball grid array. All right, so let's go ahead and pull baby out of its bag here. This is the AMD Radeon 7 graphics card coming out of its anti-static bag. There you go. AMD's Radeon 7 with 7 nanometer Vega GPU and 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory on board. This is the card. Now taking a walk around the Radeon 7, you can see we have a really nice all brushed aluminum metal shroud with nice polished chamfered edges for each of the axial fans that pull cool air in to the heat sinks inside. Uh, on top of the PCB that will cool not only the GPU and its memory, but the power array and all that good stuff in there. Of course, by 16 PCI Express card edge. And of course, also the well-known and loved now Radeon Cube here on the top, uh, giving you a little bit of logo bling that will light up. We'll show you that in a little bit. And then up top here, a pair of eight pin PCI Express power connectors. And then looking back a little bit more, you can see the heatsink fins are actually exposed on the top as well, allowing some cooling to radiate from the top of the card as well. Going along the back side, here you can see the GPU mounting bracket and the bottom side of the GPU. You've got some slotted vents here, probably to allow some additional cooling on the back side as well. Again, brushed aluminum shroud here, really nice polished look just a beautiful well-designed card and let's look at io configurations so here we have three full-size display ports and an hdmi 2.0 port slotted back io plate so really nice setup but straightforward 
for the Radeon 7. On the bottom, you can see also as well that heatsink array, which is massive copper fin heatsink, is exposed as well to let some uh, airflow through there as well. So that's kind of it. The back side of the card is actually the only part that's closed off here. And uh, let's let's plug this thing into that fancy stand we got with the card and uh, show you what that's all about. But first, let's take the liberty of installing those batteries we got earlier. Wouldn't that be a story, huh? Three AAA batteries here. AMD's Radeon 7 battery-powered graphics card. Wouldn't that be a thing? AAA batteries, that's all you need? Yeah, doubt it. Even for a 7 nanometer GPU. All right, let's get the hatch back on there. And uh, oh, 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 we've got what's looking like some serious RGB. Let's get the Radeon 7 graphics card on top. And there she is. AMD's Radeon 7 sitting on top its clear block of RGB goodness bling. And the 7 nanometer Vega GPU inside that bling looking great, looking swank. Kind of a trophy sort of vibe going on here. Let's take the opportunity to talk a little bit more about the architecture and expected performance according to AMD's claims. With 2x the memory capacity and over 2x the memory bandwidth, AMD's Radeon 7 with its 7 nanometer Vega GPU is claimed to offer considerable gains in content creation and other compute intensive workloads as well as considerable gains in, of course, gaming, where the company claims it should meet or beat, in many cases beat, a GeForce RTX 2080 graphics card from NVIDIA. Of course, the only way to really prove that out is with our own testing. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to show you that just yet. I know that's a bit of a letdown, but if you've been tuning in with us here at hothardware.com, you've probably seen our CES 2019 coverage of AMD's Radeon 7 playing Tom Clancy's The Division 2 sans frame rate. So unfortunately, performance is still under embargo at this time, so stick with us here at hothardware.com. Hit thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll be back to you with more coverage of AMD's Radeon 7 in the days ahead. Tune in at hothardware.com as well for our full review with all the benchmark details in the days ahead as well. I'm Dave Altavilla with AMD's Radeon 7 unboxed and on the test bench. Thanks for stopping by.